start spreading the news. You're leaving today. Tell me, friend, I want to be a part of it. New York, New York. sister organizations that have had to close down from lack of funds and when the board and I sat and talked about where things were going to go for our agency during these rough times we had a decision to make and our decision was do we just merely survive or do we choose to thrive and our agency has chosen to thrive and with the board's direction with hard work from volunteers the amigos um, got to give it up for them the hard work of our staff we have maintained, not only maintained our budget, but we recently have been awarded two new grants. We've got several more coming, and we have stood firm in our commitment to thrive and help our clients. We have 10 programs that offer services in the Antelope Valley to people, people that are victims of bullying at school, people that are survivors of domestic violence and their children who have been abused, we have a legal system, um, a legal um, program, I mean, that um, does wonderful work helping women cross that barrier that usually gets them stuck in those relationships and allows them to move forward and um, live happy, fruitful, and non-violent lives. So we have come a long way in the last 31 years of our existence. We started out as a small emergency shelter, and now we have, like I said, 13 programs altogether. We're waiting on about three more grants coming in, and we're dutifully working on more so that we can continue to provide the services to those that people in the Antelope Valley that need us. And I want to thank you for supporting us and coming out tonight. It was a very busy Saturday in the Antelope Valley. There was a lot of things going on, and um, you chose to be here and be committed to helping our clients. I want to thank you very much for that, and I'll turn this back over to Michelle.